starting with multifamily billing. But what I'm going to show you is how you would go into um, this family account ledger and take a family, um, how they are today, and, and split that up so that they can have subfamily accounts and then applying plans to each of those subfamily accounts so that those parents would get their respective bills. And so I will go down to down here. And we can see you come into this family profile right out of the gates. It looks how it does today. Um, the only difference that you'll see before anything is this multifamily um, billing icon up here. And so what we see though is we have these siblings, um, they're listed together. This is that family transactions. If you go into multifamily billing, this kind of gives a rundown on exactly what um, multifamily billing is, what parents will see and what they won't see. A big part of this is really providing that privacy around their billing and, and record keeping. And so in these multifamily situations, um, we want to make sure that the parents know that whether it's communication through the chat message or the ability to view their, their ledger, that there is privacy in using the system. And just because these families are split or co-parent the situation may be, they can still leverage these tools and have the comfort of that privacy. The next step, give some information around what it takes to get these accounts set up for multifamily billing. And really what you're gonna see here is for families that have open, um, open credits and plans already applied to their children. And, and so really what this means is you're gonna pause that plan because after this child is assigned to these two subfamilies, they're each gonna have their own billing plan managed independently. And then those credits will be reapplied after the fact, um, depending on what that split looks like. And so um, I can tell I have a balance here. It's 4,300. And so once you clear that credit, you're gonna get this, it's gonna change to green. You're gonna know, okay, got that balance zeroed out. And then pausing the plans, all you have to do is confirm basically say, I know this plan is going to pause. We're good to go. Now, both of these have been zeroed and paused and you can go on to the next step. And this is where you can assign family names, um, assign the children to certain families and basically just get these subfamilies set up. And so if we know family one is Gonzalez, family two has maybe a different last name. It could be Jenkins. And then if they're siblings and parents are responsible for both children, that's fine. You can leave them both in, in each family or in the scenario where maybe one, si one sibling's in both families, the other is just in one, you can add and remove those children to make sure that that split is appropriate. Again, you can add them back real easily, um, but I'll, I'll keep this down to one right here. And so that is the initial kind of separation of these families. What you're gonna see on this all families tab is basically the, the family transactions from before the split. This is gonna be that overall view, payments from both families all in one place and that history in one place. When you go into a single family, you're gonna need to see that history from before the creation of these subfamilies. And so, because that these, these payments were made as one, um, under one family, under one account, both have line of sight into that, that history. Going forward, new payments, new transactions, new invoices will be assigned to those specific families. I think one thing that we can show right now then is we zeroed out that balance. And so we had a $4,300 balance. We can assume, you know, for this scenario, we'll call it a 50-50 split. And so each family would then be responsible for uh, 2,150 of that balance. And so we can create an invoice. When creating an invoice, all you have to do is select which family it's for, the due date, and then let's see. 
And this is just like creating the invoices um, the same way as before. Here, we're gonna say just one, because um, this is the sibling that was in both families. And you can see then that multifamily balance was applied here. So this is a quick way after you've set up and configure these families, you can go back and if there was an open balance, you can make sure, okay, we're gonna just reset that, split them appropriately. And as you can see, this one was only applied to Ava Gonzalez. So it's only in um, this family. It's only in the family that it was applied to. The other part of multifamily billing then is the recurring plans. And so when we went through that setup, I showed you that the plans had to be paused. Um, and you can see that on her, on Ava Gonzalez's plan here. And so right now, um, because she is going to need a new plan, um, I'm going to cancel this existing plan and get set up with new plans. And so um, now that that existing plan has been removed entirely and isn't going to be used anymore, we can assign a new plan to her. And we can go up here, we have this toggle to say show multifamily. And you can see now this student has is listed twice, but that's that family name is under each. And so here, if you're going to do set them up as an, an equal plan. So, you know, we went from $600 a week to 300 a piece per family. We can, and it's going to be a 50, 50 split. It's real easy. We can select them both. If it's not going to be a 50, 50 split, this is where you would select one of those families. Um, maybe one family is going to pay 70%. You would set them up and you know, if they're, if they're covering two thirds, they would, they would cover 400. The other family would cover 200. You would set those plans up independently. Um, but, to keep things moving, we'll just do a 50-50 split and show you how these can be configured. And so um, I'll just use a, a, a sample tuition plan and these can be modified. And so we'll set it to 300. It's going to be applied twice for this child. So we'll get to that same $600 um, monthly plan. You can see it's two students selected and each of those families is going to be billed $300 a month we create these plans now i can see on these recurring plan records that there's 200 two 300 dollars plans for this child one for each family when these billing invoices are generated in a month they're going to send one to each family they're going to get that email separately if they go into the the web portal or the mobile app to make that payment they're going to see 300 dollars is owed and they're only gonna have line of sight into their share of the finances. Um, again, if this isn't a 50-50 split and one family's covering 400, the other family's covering 200, they're only gonna have line of sight into to their own payments. And um, that's true for family, one of these families is late or past due, that's not gonna go out to both families. And so these now become managed ind independently and provide that privacy. And so, Last thing would be then when once those payments are made, you would see tuition received for all families here, or you can go in family by family and review the payments received all in one place.